Hello everyone, welcome. Thank you for attending on such short notice. In particular, a special thank you to our delicious sponsor, Snickers. But there were a couple of controversies last week that I needed to address. So, the first of which, if we can get straight into it, the main event, Sami Zayn pinned the light heavyweight champion AJ Styles, but he did so after kicking him in the nads, and then using the ropes to leverage his pin. So, generally, the uh, course of action when a champion is pinned, even in a tag match, or whatever the non-title match may be, that person gets a title shot. Not on this occasion. Not because of uh, clear cheating. Right in front of the referee, by the way. Just another extraordinary example of how poor the refereeing is in this business. But I digress. The result will stand because despite how bad they are, I need to back up the referees. However, in order for Sami Zayn to get his title shot, he'll have to go through another contender in Jeff Hardy. And that match will take place tonight. Also... Last week, if you can ignore the terrible green screen effects around me, the semi-main event ended with a disqualification, so at least the referee was able to make a decision there. But Gaza hit Kushida with a kendo stick, I think seven or eight times, and it's just not on. He's indefinitely suspended uh, without pay until we review the situation and, and figure out what we're going to do. It just, it baffles me that people think that those weapons under the ring are for use. And I, I really don't know what to do. Um, I mean, I'll be supposed to take the, the weapons from under the ring and not put them there? Where would we put them? So... It's, it's disappointing that uh, he's gone against the rules there. And uh, Kushida's okay, by the way. Um, he's not medically cleared, but, you know, I talked to him. He's, he's doing okay. Um, so you won't see either of those guys tonight. But we do have a match between their tag partners taking place. First up, uh, Alexander, uh, Cedric Alexander and uh, Umberto Carrillo will be in the opener tonight. Looking forward to it. Um, any questions? No, there's no one here. Uh, okay, good. Well, thank you again to Snickers. You are so delicious. And enjoy the show. Jim Rowan, how you going? Hope you enjoyed that little bit of a different start to the show. It was important to say it, you know. I needed to, to get these things sorted out as quickly as possible but uh, here we are in St. Louis Missouri and a big show ahead tonight very excited about it Cedric Alexander is uh, up first but not in his wrestling gear he's in a street fighting gear and he's got a he's got a kendo stick the same weapon that Gaza took to his tag partner Kushida last week and look at him he's going mental Oh, that's uh, a bad sign. And now Umberto's come out, and he's got a chair. I guess he's obviously seen that Cedric Alexander was up to no good and ready for a, a fight. So he's come out armed himself. I mean, that's smart. But uh, he's not backing down. Look, he's ready to wave that thing. I think we need to get security out here. Where are you? Vince, Shane, come on down. I think we better go to an ad break. This could get ugly. Not you when you're hungry. Snickers really and there's nothing satisfied. prettier than a Snickers. Okay. Back to it. This is the second match. Jeff Hardy is one of the top contenders in the light heavyweight division. And there's his dance moves. And as stated earlier in the show, he'll be taking on Sami Zayn, who is tailed to the ring by his buddy Kevin Owens and uh, hopefully 
you know, funny business occurs with Owens at ringside there, but uh, should be a good match between these two. Certainly a clash of styles. Zayn, a uh, very competent wrestler, though likes to play a bit dirty. When you see there from Jeff Hardy, he likes to um, show a bit more flair in the ring. A little dirty chop block from Sami Zayn. So this will turn into a bit of a, a feud between these two, Owens included. Um, you've obviously got that feud boiling over already in the cruiserweight division with uh, Berto and Gaza and Carrillo and Kushida. But uh, here's uh, Owens making himself known to Jeff Hardy and uh, Zane tries to take advantage with a roll up, but Jeff Hardy is a veteran. Smart enough to find the ropes. But uh, yeah, the punches keep flying here from Zayn. Like I said, he he can make his offense look pretty. But he's more interested in uh, getting straight to the point, I suppose. There's a pretty suplex though. Oh! Twist of fate! And Hardy's going to the top. Swanton Bomb connects. And uh, now Owens has very uh, timely, if, if, as far as Sami Zayn's concerned, uh, has, has distracted the referee. And um, that could have been the finish to the match there, if not for that. But here's Zayn going for another pin. He, like I said, straight to the point. He just wants to win. He doesn't really care how it happens. We mentioned... Uh, the feud in, well, there's a feud in the light heavyweight division in the other division remaining, the heavyweight division. Um, the feud there being, oh, hold on, Blue Thunderbomb. Oh, this could be close to a finish, but Hardy stays in. In the heavyweight division, um, well, the top four guys are, oh, hold on, actually, this is a finish. Sami Zayn with the Huluva kick. But, once again, smart enough to get to the ropes, Jeff Hardy. Um, he's got a twist of fate here too, but I've got to bloody finish my point. Okay, top two baby faces in the heavyweight division. Drew McIntyre and The Rock, The Rock being the champion. Top two heels as Owens distracts Jeff Hardy momentarily and it allows Sami Zayn to get his knees up on that swanton bomb and hits the halluva kick. Main two heels are Orton and Cena on the, in the heavyweight division. Oh my goodness, how long did it take me to get that out? But so much action happening in this match. And uh, this is probably the finish. That was a hell of a boot to the face. And Jeff Hardy stays down. Sami Zayn will get his shot at AJ Styles and that light heavyweight championship. So um, here's a slow motion replay. Pow! Right in the kisser. It's uh, a lot to do with Kevin Owens there. He assisted on a couple of occasions in that match but he didn't get physically involved so I'm not sure how much uh, is, is really gonna really happen um, about it we'll move on to the main event of course Randy Orton is from St. Louis Missouri so Drew McIntyre might usually get cheers but he's on the opposite team so a few boos raining down for the Scotsman, who comes out with a little less pageantry than the uh, opening night. I guess he probably saves that for his big matches. Uh, Shelton Benjamin's here to take a pinfall. Spoiler. He's just, you know, he's like a mid-carder. He's, he's a good hand, I suppose, is uh, his position. John Cena, of course, like I said, one of the top bad guys in the company. Cool looking shirt there I gave him. Would you listen to the pop? Oh ho! They're going crazy for Randy Orton. Hometown boy. With a new shirt. Looks pretty good. I bet he'll sell a bunch. So yeah, Randy Orton is commonly known as a bad guy. But in St. Louis, Missouri, he's a hero. Listen to him. They love him. And he's soaking it up. And probably making sure they all see the shirt. Gets a percentage of those 
merch sales, you know. But uh, first time we've seen Orton in the universe, so um, wonderful model he's got. Looks fantastic. Let's get things started. Drew McIntyre comes in swinging. And look at this. Powerbomb. Taking it straight to Cena. Of course, won in their singles match. Decisive victory on that occasion, on the first week of this universe mode. Of this show. But... Uh, you might be thinking, well, we're three episodes in and you've talked about the divisions. Where are the women? And that's a fair question. Um, I want a women's division. I planned on a women's division. I played the GM mode in this game, which is kind of average. Um, and I, I really actually enjoyed the women um, playing with some of those women. Um, okay, I actually feel like I've got to be careful about how I say this. Uh, uh, I enjoy using the women in this game. Oh, jeez, even that didn't sound good. Okay, well, look, anyway, I want to do it, I guess, in kayfabe, in my world here, my universe. They, they have their own show, but I do want to make them a part of um, the, the main show here. I've got ideas and whatnot. It's kind of the same situation as the tag division it's just it's hard to book so many divisions and I just kind of had this main idea for the weight divisions and the home and away titles um, in the US and intercontinental titles so big cheer for Randy Orton finally getting tagged in and he goes to work on Shelton Benjamin chance of RKO goes for the hangman DDT or whatever he calls it crowd are eating it up had to, uh, yeah, add some pop effects in there, but uh, Orton seems fine with facing Drew, letting Shelton get to the tag there while he looks around. And maybe that's why. No fear. Able to chuck him around, it seems. But he'll tag back out. It's um, an interesting part of the booking process, um, trying to make use of the locations uh, I am you know there is a logic to it there is a a path being followed around the country and um, who gets used and in, in what parts of the country the idea is that there's kind of a core group of guys that travel most of the time and then there's some people that'll show up for particular tours and then there's some people that are really just mostly work regionally. As we got an FU or an AA, I think we'll call it the FU. And Drew kicks out of it. Oh, geez. Cena's got to hate that. But this is definitely getting to the pointy end of this match. And the, the heels are right on top of... Well, they're not heels today, I suppose. They're the baby faces, Orton and Cena. And, uh... Oh, the, what does he call that? Not a curb stomp. Soccer kick? Terrible. Goodbye, beautiful smile of Drew McIntyre. And look at him, he's going after him. He's ignoring the punches from Cena. And now he fights Cena off. He's a maniac. Sidekick. Oh, and the double underhook. DDT! Doesn't go for the cover though. Goes for the tag. Fair enough. He's been... Copping a beating in there. Um, yeah, I don't know if I finished my point about the women. I, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to doing it. Uh, I want to do it. It's um, it's just difficult to book all of these different divisions. Um, but yeah, hey, look, if you've got any questions about how I go about it, leave it in the comments. Ask me about it. I will answer you. I've got nothing better to do. Now, this is a rare case of the baby faces having some momentum in this match. Shelton Benjamin doing his best against Randy Orton, though there is quite a gap in terms of their abilities, and perhaps that is now being shown. Suplex from Orton. Knee drop from Orton. What's that one? It's not an exploder, is it? I know what this is, just a bunch of punches to the face. Take that, Benjamin. And uh, now, 
for an RKO out of nowhere. He's going to pound the mat and make everyone know about it. Hits the RKO. That's what the people came to see. And Shelton Benjamin is, of course, going to stay down. Drew was there. But, uh, well, let's have a look. What was Drew doing? Oh, as the RKO came down, Drew was still getting up. He, uh, yeah, probably didn't understand the severity of Shelton Benjamin's predicament there. But uh, Orton picks up the victory in his hometown. Cena celebrates too, but uh, that's the man right there, Randy Orton. So, hope you enjoyed this episode. Like, subscribe, do whatever, do a dance. Thanks for listening and watching. Have a good one.